And three, two, one, now. Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. I'm Lewis Lightning. So we were still in Dalish camp. Um, we were going to go talk to the people here, see if they have anything new to tell us. Most I thought them... a sham would be uglier. You're not so ugly. Poor Zathrian. To have perished after all his long centuries. We will miss him greatly. Yeah, so far they haven't really said much different. Hello. I'm not afraid of you. I'm a great Dalish warrior. It's a woman. Poor Zathrian. Oh, to have perished so. after Cyril. all his long centuries. You did it, outsider. You saved us from the ravages of the curse, after all. May the creators bless you, truly. But Zathrian is lost to us, after all these centuries. He died heroically, I hope. <laughs> Let's just say his time had come. Yes, I believe he did. I would like a happy ending I'll be nice to his to them. tale. He will be a role model for many Dalish children to come. And now, Keeper Lanaya prepares for us to enter into war alongside the humans. I never thought I'd live to see the day. I, for one, look forward to fighting against these darkspawn creatures. Do you now? Let's hope you return and tell us all about them. As for you, outsider, I expect I'll be telling tales about the Grey Warden one day, hmm? Okay, so that was that. Let's see what we got here. I hope I recover soon enough to fight your dark spawn. You are very fortunate with Alarm. You were very close to death. Yeah. Who's she talking to? The hunters are recovering quickly. This is a most joyous day. Uh, Aphris is gone. It is good a Grey Warden was here to aid us. Imagine how much worse this would have become otherwise. Uh, so we just really have Lanaya left to talk to, I believe. No one else is really telling us anything different. Let us pray to okay. create. She doesn't have anything to say either. And my uh, my brother's cat's here, and he can hear. Our problem. hunters have been cured. We shall be forever grateful to you. And Mithra, to talk to. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. I look forward to it. All right. So we'll move to soldier speak. Have you given any thought to your future, Shale? I was thinking I might oh join the chantry, become divine and have giant Andraste golems fashioned to conquer the lands. Truly? No. Yeah, that was It was obvious. a serious question. One day the quest of these Grey Wardens will be finished one way or another. What will you do then? The quest of the Grey Wardens is to destroy the Darkspawn, I thought. Oh, so you share a larger purpose with them? Is that your ultimate goal? I had not given it much thought. It might be better than slaughtering every bird in existence. Well, yes, at the very least. It's worth thinking about. Okay, so we'll head out of here. Got it. The soldier's peak. Uh, we could also set, stop the campsite too. Talk to some people. Usually after, um, you know, doing a big quest, people talk to you more. As well, we will have uh, new people at our camp because we um, we have the elves on our side now. Well, we'll have their representatives. What can I do for you, Warden? I don't think I had to talk to him, do Certainly. I? Just do a quick look. Yeah, nothing really to worry about. Let's see if he's got any uh, backpacks. Got a lot of runes, which would be nice. And do you have any potions? No. Let's put some stuff in the chest here. Wait, wait. Let's see if Liliana can use. Come on. Let's see if Liliana can use this. Uh... No, she can't use it yet. So for the time being, I'll store it in the chest. To Venture Shield, I'll store it in the chest now too. In case we might be able to use it on Alistair, but I don't have him in my party right now. So next time I have him and I come back, I'll try it. I should check out this gear here. What I can ah use. Liliana might be able to use this leather helm, which she can. And it is better, although it doesn't have the physical resistance. Hmm. I'll give it to her. 
and the studded helmet I'll sell maybe I don't know it's hard to just say what to do with a lot of this stuff um, she needs better armor and boots the elven boots would be better and we have ancient elven armor too so we'll give her both those how is that gonna affect her let's see her boots she had has less armor but also less fatigue uh, I don't know I'm gonna give her back her leather stuff it's not as encumbering on her uh, uh, stamina the only other person I can give stuff to is Wynn and she's got good stuff so I'm gonna store these ashen gloves they're for mages only so next time I have uh, Morgan maybe I'll do it I'll store the studded helmet although I'd really like to sell it and this ancient elven stuff I'll sell or store and the juggernaut plate this cowl let's see what wind's got mm. I'm gonna leave it with that I'll store the cowl as well and maybe next time we have uh, Next time we have Morgan with us, we can use it. Pick it up. But that's it for now. So I guess I'll head to the camp real quick. And we'll talk to some people. And that's probably what we'll do for the rest of the episode. Just, you know, figure out what's going on with everyone. I know I do this a lot. Talk to everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's like the only way to figure out what they want in terms of gifts. And gifts make them like us more. The more they like us, the more we get... Um, uh, those extra bonuses to like constitution stuff. Let's talk to Shale here. Oh. Still with me, I see? Yes. Its adventures are interesting, even if the chances for success are remarkably slim. It would be better to throw oneself off a cliff, I suspect. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. No, stay. You're quite helpful. No doubt. Without me, it would have to carry its inventory on its own. I still do. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. So that was a brief conversation, which is nice. I'd, the long ones kill more of our time. Morgan might not want to talk to us because she wants us to kill her mother, if you remember. So maybe until then... What do you then, wish of me? She won't be that happy. Ask if her you something. must. Yeah, no. I want to see if we, if we have something personal. What about do you her. wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as. Never a mind. Well, we have nothing to talk to her about, at least until we get back from our quest to kill Morgan. Uh, Stan usually doesn't have much to say, but we'll try him anyways. Yes. I am hardly surprised. Very well. Looks like we're going to not speak then. Do a lot of talking. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. Uh, Alistair always seems to have a bunch to say. Something on your mind? Of course. Why have you remained a Templar if you hate the Chantry? Have you seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. It. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. Uh... I thought Templars wore heavy plate mostly. That's just in public. In private, we have these yellow and purple tunics, right? Much more comfortable, and you don't break the beds when you jump on them during a pillow fight. Do all Templars make these jokes, or just you? Oh, you know, between all the guilt and the hours spent in solemn prayer, any good Templar or priest is just bursting to tell a few good jokes when the opportunity arises. You don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. You don't have to tell me. I was just curious. I I suppose there's no harm in it then. Sorry if I was being perverse. I'm just not used to anyone asking me these things. The truth of the matter is that I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. I felt like Al Eamon had cast me off unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. 
But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. Uh, enjoy hunting mages, did you? No, I never got that far. I mostly learned about discipline and training my mind to use the abilities that Templars have. It was difficult, but rewarding. I never really felt at home anywhere, though, until I joined the Grey Wardens. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful for when we encountered Darkspawn magic, so I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? My home is taken over by Arl Howe. Right. Stupid of me to ask. I'm sorry. We won't always be traveling like this, you know. Once the war is over, once the blight is... Well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Though that seems like a far ways off. And I suppose the Grey Wardens are gone for good. Either way. Uh, they can be rebuilt. I suppose you're right. We can create new Grey Wardens, but we'll never get back those we lost. I wonder if it would ever feel the same. Anyhow, now I've sidetracked us. We'd better get back to what we're supposed to be doing right now. Yeah, Alistair always has a long story to tell. Let's we'll see what Liliana's got for us. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I... I'm reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died. And this wise elven woman comforted me, and told me that we shouldn't fear death, or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. That is comforting. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving. Oh, what you doing? Yeah, anyways. She sings a lot in this game. You can ask her to sing songs. But I think it's always the same one. I don't know. But it just doesn't look right if you ask me. <laughs> now there's, there's Alistair cooking. Quick. Oh, I thought the song was over already. Hey, where's that harp coming from? Someone just starts singing to me like this, I'd be freaking out. Like, hey, hey okay, we're kind of in a group of people here. And there's Sten. Seems to give him some thought, anyway, something to think about. Everyone's reaction to her song. That means we got Win and Zevran left. I think that's it. Oh, Shale. Oh, looks like she's done. Alright. Uh, we'll check out these allies. We'll check out these emissaries, I should say. You witnessed the rarest of things, Warden. The Dalish stand ready to defend Ferelden. Mm. Do they need We've anything? We've assembled on a short schedule. Certain factors of equipment could be better. Crafting components would serve best. Basic ones like elf root and deep mushroom. 
I want to ask another question. That's your word, Warden. Do your men... Your men will commit to my cause? I would not insult them by asking. Word was given, and that is all that needs to be said. So I can donate some deep mushrooms? I don't really use them for anything at the moment. Actually, metal shards too. I don't really use those. We'll give them metal shards. And we can get more. So I'm not too worried about that. We'll leave that for now. We will make good use of what you have brought us. I'm not sure what the bonus is from that. What's on your mind? Like what we get from by giving lots of donations if we have better chance in the dark spawn. Someone has to let me know. Or maybe I'll look it up online. If you know, put it in the comments. Um Is there anything we do to cure you? Cure me? What? Am I sick now? <laughs> You're a little... dead. Even you know that you cannot cure the dead. And I'm not the only one dying. You are too. <laughs> I'm just more efficient about it. Ah, child. Your concern is heartwarming. But death comes to everyone. And it is not something to fear. You're not afraid? People fear not death, but having life taken from them. Many waste the life given to them, occupying themselves with things that do not matter. When the end comes, they say they did not have time enough to spend with loved ones, to fulfill dreams, to go on adventures they only talked about. But why should you fear death if you are happy with the life you have led? If you can look back on everything and say, yes, I am content, it is enough. Are you content? I think I've led a good life. A full life. And I, for one, am not afraid of death. Whatever it may bring. They say that when you die, your spirit travels through the Fade and returns to the Maker. And after that, we'll see, won't we? Oh, so nothing came about that. We didn't get any bonus. Let's see what Zevran has to say. Here I am. Uh, care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Tell me a little bit about Antiva. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this Ferelden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. Don't you want to go back? It's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? Of course, my mother is better than any gem. You have me there, indeed. I, for one, can make no such claim as I never laid eyes on the woman. Hmm. You know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine and its dark-haired beauties and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. This I have to hear. I mean the smell. For years, I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home, more than anything else. It's not like you've been away from home forever. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in the store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? <laughs> Your home is still there, Zevran. True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a handsome Grey Warden? A man who then spares my life. I could not. Handsome? Maybe it's kinda gay. 
but he does go both ways in case you haven't figured that out already for yourself. You need to make the most of where you are. Quite right you are. I see the Grey Wardens do not recruit fools. Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiva. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. I got some plus ups from Zevrin. Let's talk to Hannibal. He's the last one here, and then that'll be it for today. Seems excited. He bounces around you, barking happily. Barking excitedly. Let's pet him. He rolls around happily on his back. Oh, and that's it for that. Uh, so we'll save it here. I'll try to do another hour tomorrow. And hopefully I get this slew of videos uh, done for tonight. And you guys will be able to check them out. Um, but yeah, I got six of them to do. And these ones that I did today, hopefully I'll be able to get up uh, by tomorrow. So I will see you then. Thanks. Bye.